Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to Edenhope. Edenhope is a township in Victoria, Australia. It is located on the Wimmera Highway, 30 kilometers from the South Australian border in the Shire of West Wimmera local government area, and is 404 kilometers or 251 miles from Melbourne, the state capital. The first European settlers in the district were the Hope family in 1845. They came from Scotland and had lived next to the Eden River. The Hope family established the Lake Wallace Pastoral Station. During the 1860s, Eden Hope was recorded as having three stores, an Anglican, Catholic and Presbyterian churches, or perhaps preaching places, and agricultural and pastoral society. In 1866, the Eden Hope Cricket Club recruited Thomas Wills, who had played for the rugby school football and cricket teams in England, cricket for Marylebone and for the Victorian cricket team. He became a coach of an Australian cricket team, which was the first Australian team to tour England in 1868. The team's famous batsman, Johnny Muller, is buried in Harrow, which is a township not too far away. And there is a memorial to the cricket team in the grounds of the Eden Hope Secondary College besides Lake Wallace, where Wills coached the team. The Mechanics Institute was opened in 1882, and the Post Office opened on the 16th of July, 1864. The Edenhope Magistrates Court closed on the 1st of January, 1983, and opposite the courthouse is the Black Swamp, home to local bird life, which can be viewed from the bird hide and bird walk. Eden Hope hosts Henley on Lake Wallace on the second Saturday in February each year. The regatta and related events date back to 1921 when funds were raised to erect a memorial to soldiers of the First World War. Eden Hope has a district memorial hospital, elderly persons facility, a race course, a golf course, boating and fishing facilities in Lake Wallace and tennis, swimming and bowling facilities. There is a state combined primary and secondary school, and there is a Catholic primary school that was established in 1953. There are Anglican, Catholic, Lutheran, and United churches, and the lake has a foreshore parkland, and there is a reserve adjoining the showground. The race course is west of the town, near the aerodrome. Eden Hope's Tourism and Information Centre is in a former courthouse, and the town has a hotel, a motel, and a caravan park. And without further ado, let's wander around Eden Hope. So here we are heading to the Lutheran Church and the church building was opened on the 16th of the 1st, 1916 as the All Souls Anglican Church. It was damaged by fire in 1964 and sold to the Lutherans. It opened in 1966 as the Emmanuel Lutheran Church.
Now, just a quick note, I'd like to really acknowledge and thank whoever it was and who contributes to the Facebook page titled Eden Hope History. That is one of the best references I've come across for a township. It is absolutely terrific. Uh, I have left a link in the description below, but also to all the other resources uh, and places where I got information about this town from. So if you like further information, um, that Facebook page is probably the best. There are some uh, other places, like Victoria Places is another website that I visit, and also the State Library of Victoria. So yep, it's all in the links below uh, in the description, and by all means, just have a look, and if you want further information, just uh, click on them or just uh, cut and paste them and do a search that way. This is St. Mark's Church. No formal foundation stone was located, but 1930 was engraved in the cement rendering. No memorial plaque details are known. So here we are to the memorial for the first Australian team to tour England in 1868.
So here we are nearing the end of this video or presentation and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, by all means, click on that like or thumbs up button and please subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you one cent and it really does help the channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.